Hello class. So from our last discussion, most of you are complaining that you don't understand uh, the paraseries type of connection. So I decided to take another example before we move on to our next topic. But, but before I do that, I would like Collins to pronounce this for us. Yes, sir. So why do you like calling my name? Yeah, I like calling your name because I want you to learn. Uh, so I know how to pronounce it now. I know how to pronounce it. I know you know it, but still pronounce it for us. It's an apalacilis now. Apalacilis. Ah. Which one is Paracilis? Where did you see L? I told you the last time it's called Paracilis, not Paracilis. I don't know where you are seeing your L from. Anyway, like I told you guys in our previous class, Para came from the word parallel. You know, we have uh, three types of connection. We have parallel connection, we have series connection, and we have parallel series connection. So it's too long for me to pronounce. So we now shot it to Paracilis. You can hear how beautiful it sounds, right? So. Collins, stop calling it Palacilis. Before you send somebody to site, somebody are asking to do Palacilis connection and he will go and burn your system. So it's called Palacilis connection. So I have uh, four units of uh, 100 watt panels, which I want them to be connected in Palacilis. Uh, I have two units here, another two units here. Now, if I ask you to do a Palacilis connection, this is all you have to do. You have two units of uh, two, uh, 100 watt solar panels here. You just connect the positive of this to the negative of this. Now you've done a series connection here. We said in a series connection that what happens, Collins? Voltage increases why current remains the same. Some correct that. You got this one right. Current remains the same, why voltage increases. Are we together? So here we have a uh, two unit of 20 volt solar panels connected in series. The voltage will be 40 volt. Our current still remain five amps but note that whether in para series whether in series connection whether in parallel connection power will always increase so 100 watt plus 100 watts will give you 200 watts so from this series connection you've gotten 40 volt 5 amp 200 watts are we together yes sir so you still repeat the same thing with the you know two unit of the other solar panels connect the positive of this to the negative of this bring down your negative bring down this positive here you form another series connection you have another 40 volt with your 10 amps uh, sorry with your 5 amps and 200 watts collins hope you are seeing it yes sir don't come and say you we are not in class when we did this so now the 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 circuit or the configuration is demanding that these four solar panels should be connected in para series now you've done your series connection you have another series here you have two series here so remember at the end of everything it will be two series one parallel so you've got your system in series all you have to do is to take the negative of this guy to the negative of this guy you form your negative here right then take the positive of these other guys to the positive of this you've got your panels in para series so here you have plus and here you have minus here you have series you have series coming down here this one connected to the negative of this the positive of this connected to the positive of this you now have para series here you have para series here collins is not para series you have para series here here is series here is series right you can say series series then coming down here the positive of this connected to the positive of this and the negative of this connected to the negative of this it's end it end up giving you para series now the amount of power will increase the amount of voltage still remain the same which is 40 volt because 40 volt plus 40 volt will still give you 40 volt the amount of current will now increase because you've now connected these two series in parallel you now have 10 amps are we together then the amount of energy will increase to 400 watts it's as simple as that so uh collins next time don't come and say you don't understand what we did it's very simple if you want to install six panels you want to install eight panels you want to install 10 panels this is how you do it and one of the disadvantages of para series is that it's not advisable for you to use a odd number yeah odd number maybe like three or like five that's why most installers will tell you they can't you can't use five panels so make sure if you want to do para series each panel have partner this is the para series so call it i don't hear any you know
Yeah, Collins, Collins, I know you have a question. What do you want to ask? Uh, so I have a question, but I don't know how it's going to sound. So I have a question. So why do you always change the location or the direction of your solar panels? Uh, 